Where's Todd? Guys, is anyone seeing Todd? We're on. Like we're live. Anywhere? Where are you? For you. For you. I'm making the high pitched noise heard only by I know. bees. That's because oh. they go with the other Bontinis. Hello, kid. Why are we being blessed with this today? Mommy has missed you so much. No, no, no. April's 10th anniversary on Saturday. Oh, nothing but cakes. Nothing but cakes. My girlfriend, April, it was really cool. We were actually there to celebrate her very first grand opening. It's 10389 South Street in uh, Sandy, if you've never been there. And these are. Heaven. I mean, they're. You gotta uh, show them. Get uh, away, get away. You're messing up. You can't eat during the show. Yeah, I can. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking mm. good. What did you say? I said it's so freaking delicious. Oh, okay, that's what I thought I didn't hear. Okay. Mm. We're gonna put these down mm. here away from you. Welcome, everybody, to the Sod and Aaron. There's a gigantic cake in front of us. You New can't time. stop me. It's a prop. They have to do, don't, I have to do, no, don't make it dance, it doesn't make it better, it's awesome already. Um, we have to tell you, I heard a really cool story yesterday, mm -hmm. it reminded me of something. We, uh, we were talking about uh, the first sign of spring, and you said daffodils, mm -hmm. and uh, croci, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and I said the, the fiddleheads, fiddlehead uh, ferns, for in sure. Maine, when they come up and the, before they uncurl, uh, you can eat them, and uh, they're delicious, and, and you can pan fry them. Um, pussy willows. It's like once you, know, you I never see them anymore. Once you start talking about them, more prevalent in other parts of the country, but once you start talking about spring and stuff, all of a sudden, all, all these stories pop up, and I was watching on the news and stuff, and the story from Poland, uh -huh. <laughs> just, I'm totally just hu humoring me. All right, so the story from Poland is a mom cat was down by the river and her little kittens all fell in the river chasing butterflies. So far, this is a really depressing story. It was horrifying, and they're going down the river being pulled down. They didn't have a chance. And a willow tree dipped her boughs into the water. And the kittens all hung really tight. Pussy willows from Poland. Who that knew? the sweetest thing. I know. Um, the, the, the glitter crap <coughs> it just never stops, does continues it? at our mm -hmm. house. I'm now four showers in and still glitter like a stripper. And I've got one right in the center of my nose that I can't get rid of and it, my eyes keep crossing. It's driving me nuts. Should we, uh, should we show them? Let's show them the video from yesterday. This is my Easter eggs that were covered in glitter. I know what she's doing because yeah. there is a trail of this throughout the house. I knew it. 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 Really? I don't think you realize. I don't think you realize what you have done to our household. Yes. These, these eggs that you did for... They Easter. initially seemed like a really good idea because they were like a dollar. And I thought, okay, I could take them in and I'll put the kids, Zach and Zoe's like big toy in them and they're right. easy to find. And, yeah. and then I, they're next to impossible to open up and then they're next to impossible to close. Yeah. And I was trying to get them close. Like Have you not noticed? Put this down. This is a weapon of war. Have you not noticed your shirt? Okay, wait. Have you not noticed your mouth, your eyes? Okay. Your hair. Wait, wait, wait. It's in your hair. You dare judge me? Yes. You're wearing lobster pants. Awesome lobster pants. All right, so... Lobster pants with glitter on them. Um, did you really just do that? <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, stop. Now all of us are covered in glitter. We're going to sparkle just like a unicorn. You know, I, I can't ever sleep with you now. <laughs> I cannot... I cannot share a bed because that will never come I am oh, I'm soiled yes you are and it will stay that way why why because glitter is like the herpes of craft supplies oh you just can't get rid of it I have accepted my fate except yours here you hold this I'm gonna go jump off the balcony <laughs> <laughs> such a cry baby oh, oh such disdain for my wife and it's not like you're ashamed anymore oh gosh no it's in our bed. Mm -hmm. It's in all it's the It's on carpet. my toothbrush. I was brushing. I mentioned the sh I spit the, the toothbrush. It was glitter. 
Yeah, there's been a lot of other comments about where we're going to find it soon, but I, I just try to put those out of my mind. Think about going to the beach and where the sand goes. Mm. And now it's even... Beca- it, can, it can be worse, though. It could be edible what glitter. wrong with people? Now, here's something that's interesting. There is a difference between non-toxic glitter and edible what? glitter. What? Mm-hmm. It's true. Basically, it's this. Um, edible glitter is something that they made out of, like, cornstarch and cellulose and blah, blah, blah. But they've been doing it on different foods now. And it's not the stuff that you get like in the craft aisle, but they wanted things to be more sparkly. Like there is a woman brewer um, for the Sasquatch Brewery in Portland, Oregon. She made gold dust woman beer and she used golden glitter. And she said it makes this very pretty swirl. Well, Goldschlager, uh, it's like a mm-hmm. hundred proof uh, vodka drink that has gold flakes floating in it. Yeah, and like Zoe's unicorn birthday cake that we got. So wrong, um, so wrong. It had glitter all over it too also edible glitter but now they're putting on stuff that i'm beginning to find somewhat troubling for instance pizza pizza seems like that might be maybe not necessary you can also find it now on um on glitter bagels that's a really big one down in san francisco one london what is wrong with you one london pup is making glitter gravy which to me is like okay now right there i'm drawing the line as much as i love glitter i'm drawing the line at glitter gravy but they said that they added sparkles to the brown meaty sauce to cheer up a basic roast. I'm like, was the roast depressed? Or what was? But in any case, now they've got the rainbow glitter pizza, and the late next one they say is going to be the glitter ramen, where That's they're so attempting wrong. to make sure no, they I'm have sorry. it into all of the I'm individual sorry. ramen strands. I'm sorry. So so ramen. So if you're uh, in college, it makes you happier that you're eating crap. I guess. So a roast, really? I could see ice cream. They did it to cream. cheer up a roast. I'm like, what? Ice cream, maybe. Maybe ice cream. And like I said, the little cupcakes, like Zoe's cake, those were adorable. But I'm mean, like, do you really want to eat glitter pizza? If, if I'm it's sitting... It's like we're all going to be pooping like unicorns. Because it's I, like... I, there's, magic. There's really nothing left. I mean, if they're going to keep sticking it in everything we eat. If I, if, I, if I was at a restaurant, okay, and I'm having like a really nice ribeye steak, you know, and I got mashed potatoes, I got some side dishes going on here, and I'm doing this, and someone came by and shot some glitter on top, I am chasing you down with a dull spoon. <laughs> Things are going to happen to you. It's not going to be a quick death. Things are going to happen to you that you won't even tell your mother about. Oh, Wendy, Wendy on Facebook said, Aaron, do you need any help with those with those nothing but cakes? Because I'm here for you. I can be there in a minute. Right. And, and she said, really? You're eating that in front of me, but no red velvet? Right. I'll eat the red velvet in front of you if you want. We have it right here. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. Oh, but there is the white chocolate raspberry one, Lindy, right. just in case you were wondering what that right. one was uh, like. Yesterday, something frightened hap- uh, happened to me. And this started, would you like to explain this? It started about two months ago, and we have uh, we were renting a house, and in the driveway, in the cracks, the, there started to be the first sign of some weeds coming up. Well, no, because it was irritating when we moved in. It was deathly hot, and nothing survived unless you watered it all the time. But there's this huge strip on the side that you want to keep pleased. We barked it so it would look all pretty and smooth and everything. Mm-hmm. Now there's weeds coming up everywhere, and it's like like defiant, multiple different kinds of weeds. Like, what is your hate Like of the weeds? cracks in the pavement are trying to show off every possible permutation of weed that they can offer me. It's mm-hmm. like, just because... Everything was so, all clean and so, aligned before, and now it's all... Mm. To make to make Aaron happy. <coughs> you said that you would spray <coughs> the weed killer and you would get rid of my weeds, and it still no, has not I, happened. I said I would get you. You were going to let me take vengeance on the weeds all by myself? No, but I can't be the only one. Like, if you spend a ton of time gardening and you work really hard to make something look nice, you kind of want it to stay pretty, right? I mean, you worked on it. Aaron goes to the store... I didn't know how much I was going to need. This is what she brings back. All right. Now, this looks better. We're talking Don't about... Don't get that near my cake. We're talking about an eight-foot strip. Okay. Now, you realize that this kills everything it touches, right? So, if you, you can't spot weeds and the grass around it will die, too. Mm-hmm. You have to be careful. I know. So See? now she's got a... I've got like the deathly wand of weed got, killer awesomeness. Yeah. And you know why she can't use this yet? Because we don't have batteries for it. It comes with batteries. I figured it would just be like a pump sprayer. There has never been a weed killer or anything that I've seen ever come with batteries for it. It's the, the comfort wand. <laughs> it looks like a... Medical device. So, 
We're going to get you some batteries, although it's going to rain the rest of the week, so I'm sorry to say No, we that. can do that today, and it's not going to rain until, I think, Friday. So we're perfect. She's like the Gestapo. The guess, how, how would you correlate my desire to be rid of weeds with the Gestapo? I don't know. Batteries. You have batteries to kill weeds. Batteries. How does that relate to the Gestapo? I could see a big pump sprayer like this. You know, I kind like of that. thought that's what I was getting. I didn't know they were going to make it all high tech and stuff. Oh, my but, gosh. Yeah, but we are going to have a nice, pristine driveway again, and I think that's what's important. This next story is one of the most frightening I've seen in a long time. Oh, man. Yeah. You have it. Ancestor.com, which I absolutely, Ancestry.com, which I love. Todd and I have seen multiple commercials. We've seen like social experiments where people were like, I am certain I'm this, I'm 100% this. And then they find out that they have all these really beautiful extra elements. To I'm their Arabian. DNA. And if you remember the one, there was a Palestinian and, a, uh, and an Israeli. And they found out that they were like second cousins. And it's like, and this is a, you know, two cultural elements that tend to feel a lot of animosity. And they were <coughs> hugging and crying. It was such a cool thing. But... So Kelly Roulette probably went, this is great. I'm going to have one of those beautiful moments, and I'm going to learn about myself, and it's going to be amazing. I, I'm interested in doing it. How much? I don't even know how much it costs. Uh, I think it varies. Mm -hmm. Some can be relatively Hundreds. inexpensive, like Hundreds. 50, and some are very, very expensive. All right. It just depends. Well, the test showed her that her DNA matched a sample from a doctor more than 500 miles away. Oh, that's and weird. And even though she had never heard of him before, Ancestry.com said it was a parent-child relationship, and the odds of the match were 99.9%. .9%. Well, at the time, Kelly had not been aware that more than 36 years ago, her parents had been struggling to conceive, and she did not know that her mother had undergone artificial insemination. Oh, or no. Or that she and her parents... Oh, no. Know that uh, her mother's fertility doctor had oh, no. utilized his own material oh. in order to get Kelly's mom pregnant. Oh. So we all found all this out because there's a lawsuit that was filed last week in U.S. District Court here oh. in Utah where Roulette accused Gerald Mortimer, who's now retired, he's an obstetrician gynecologist in Idaho Falls, of fraud and medical negligence, amongst other things. He could not immediately be re reached for comment. What a surprise because he's probably packing a bag right now. But that, that's just heartbreaking. Apparently, they were living in Idaho Falls at the time and having trouble conceiving. The doctor had done some procedures, and uh, she ended up pregnant, and it was a very happy time. What would Moved you do? To Utah. What, what do you do? What do you do with this information? You what do you do? You here you are. Him. Okay, but your child is your child. Well, here's the deal. And, right? And I think affects we, nothing no part of that well it, here's the deal it doesn't impact us because i mean we have a child that we've adopted who is instantaneously ours to this cellular level right. there's there's nothing more bone deep than the fact that zoe is our daughter true. nothing very true but for a child they want to have an understanding of these things they want to have a better sense of who they are and where they came from so i can see that they would be interested in having this information but in her particular case this sucks because this is never going to be a heartwarming introduction of, yeah, I'm glad I could help your folks get pregnant. And there's not going to be any of that because he sucks. So this that is part not, is sad. This is not spoken. And this is not spoken of ever as far as parents go with their yeah. child. I mean, it would. Absolutely no, no, no conversation. Su complete surprise, yeah. No, I complete know. secrecy. Well, I don't know if it's that so much as maybe it didn't even occur to them. All oh, right, so they weren't with the couple that that happened to. Well, no, but they were. They had undergone artificial insemination, right. but they had a baby. So I don't. Know, I'm not sure where I would ever think to go. Oh, by the way, did you know that I was artificial? You know, I. So yeah, she didn't know that they'd had fertility treatments, but that's very common. Now, Do they so specifically know which families this doctor did this to? That is the next part of this problem is now that they've filed the lawsuit, apparently five or six other couples who are being treated around the same time have, have seen the information and now they're freaking out. And they've also uh, filed a request. And so, yeah. But you don't tell your kid. You don't. You just take the money, send them to college, her, him, electrical engineering. It's all great. They go to college. They have they're a great still, life. They're still your daughter or son. You're still their mother or father. It you doesn't, just take all that in guy's, the end, screw it. But take except, all that guy's money. Except for taking all the guy's money. Take all the guy's money. Yeah. Or a that. woman. Is it a, oh, it, it, has, no, it's a man. has to be a male. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> birds and bees, birds and bees. Okay. Got it. You um, remember how this works, baby, right? It's been a while. No. Um, uh, Utah women sorting. Uh, 
men in college. Well, is this, this Utah, like universities? Well, this is a little, it's happy and it's sad to me because number one, um, here in Utah, we have fairly good high school graduation rates. We do. Uh, we have fairly good attendance in college of both men and women. However, college graduation rates for women are significantly lower than the rest of the nation. Hmm. Um, they've caught up to Utah men in bachelor college degree attainment in the last couple of years, okay. but far fewer men are earning graduate degrees compared to their male counterparts, and we are way right. below Back the rest up. of Say the nation. Back up. Say that one more time. Okay. We're finally, here's the good news laid out. Women are now catching up to men, men. here in Utah okay. in attaining bachelor degrees. Right. However, men versus women attaining graduate degrees here in Utah is right. vastly, vastly different. Okay. All right. All right. See, one of the problems they are initially attributed it to is, is that there's a lot of early marriage here, mm -hmm. uh, starting families earlier. And mm -hmm. when it happens is the woman is more likely to drop out and not be able to attain her degree do the family than thing. the male. Yeah. yeah. So they're saying this is good because at least we're getting this much farther. But they're not going on from there. And as you know, a graduate degree is one thing that makes a decisive difference in how much you earn for the rest of your life. So, Two things. Yes. Coming from the East Coast, mm -hmm. I had never heard about college people being married. Ever. It was like never, ever. Really? Ever. Never heard it once. When did you people get married? Like when you retired? I mean, when... I have so many answers that I will not speak of. Um, and the second thing is, mm -hmm. is that <clears throat> with the current, with the current, um, situation in the world and, and employment stuff, um, are, what are graduate degrees worth? worth? A lot of it depends on, of course, obviously the graduate degree you're getting. Engineering. <laughs> if it's in STEM, yes, in yes, the sciences, those yes. things, like crazy. If it's in Lithuanian and folk poetry, probably. Not so much. Yeah. Not so much. So a lot of it depends. And I've read a lot about the fact that um, uh, depending on what you're doing, uh, sometimes the technology is moving so quickly, what you're studying isn't there when you get out. That's one of the big problems that teachers have now starting at, in preschool. I had talked to Zoe's uh, preschool principal, and she said, we have no idea what we are training these kids to do. Exactly. She said, none of us do. She says, if, if you're trying to extrapolate 10, 15 years into the future, we exactly. can't. Exactly, exactly. So what they try to teach now is critical thinking and flexibility. So, so the kids are doing this. No, precisely. I've, I've, you know, your ability to change and your right. ability to be flexible. That's that's right. what they try to teach. And that's really challenging if you think about it. Because Our, our, our international language was French, they taught us. They that taught us French. Be, everyone would be we'd speaking all French. Be go, and uh, ouvre la, la fenêtre. Open the door. Ferme la bouche. Shut your mouth. That's about it. That's about all I got. See, every every foreign language I know, I, I learned all the swear words first, so I'm not really a linguistic marvel. It, Such a sailor. Such yeah, but she want to learn all the fun parts Shall first. we get some information? That's probably best. Daisy, of course, is in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. She is brought to you by Fink and McGregor Mortgages Made Simple. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, you can find some amazing answers within four minutes. Also by Stay Fit Utah. Now, if you haven't had a personal health analysis from Stay Fit Utah, this is a science-based nutrition report that can give you a fantastic ability to heal all kinds of problems and begin to feel your actual age again instead of much, much older. And, of course, by All Utah Plumbing Heating. And air. If you want to go to allutahplumbing.com, this might be a good time to check and make sure your swamp cooler or your air conditioner is ready to go for summer. Daisy, my dear, what's going on today? Thanks, Todd and Aaron. Hello, everyone. Here's what's making news on Wednesday, April 4th on GephardtDaily.com. An indictment of accused murderer Jared William Baum revealed more details than the deaths of Eureka Teens, Riley Powell, and Braylin Breezy Otterson. The indictment filed Tuesday indicates that Baum's living girlfriend, Morgan Henderson, not only had knowledge of the teens' fate, but was present on December 30th when the teens were stabbed and dumped into an abandoned mine shaft in Utah County. Henderson is in the Utah County Jail, charged with obstruction of justice. Baum is also behind bars, charged with aggravated murder, kidnapping, and abuse of a human corpse. A South Salt Lake man has been formally charged in his father's stabbing death. 38-year-old Warren Richard Phelps was charged Monday with one count of first-degree murder in the March 19th stabbing that claimed the life of Richard Phelps, 65, with whom he lived. A probable cause statement re revealed that Phelps and his father were arguing, arguing over a television set at the time of the fatal attack. Phelps is being held on $1 million bail. 
And the Salt Lake County Health Department has reported the county's first two deaths due to the hepatitis A outbreak. Both victims were adults who belonged to one or more population groups previously identified by health officials as high risk for contracting hepatitis A. The high risk groups included people experiencing homelessness, people who use illegal drugs or people who are or have recently been incarcerated. And time now for a look at your Wasatch Front weather brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's top audio visual specialists, and also by Magic Wash, home of the long lasting ceramic car wash, with an outlet in South Ogden and a brand new state of the art facility on Antelope Drive in Layton. After days of chilly weather, we'll see temperatures in the mid 60s for the next couple of days. In fact, the high in St. George is going to hit around 80. We'll continue to have mild temperatures, although expect to see a few more clouds as we head towards the weekend when, the, when another storm system makes its way into the state Friday morning. That's it for now. For more news and weather 24 7, go to GiveHeartDaily.com. For now, <laughs> Todd Naren, yes. I'm going to enjoy this delicious bun cake. And throw it back to you. Well, everyone is eating bunt cakes except for me. <laughs> I have control here. Thanks, Daisy. All right, so. We don't. So. Okay, here we go. Welcome Thank you, everyone Daisy, back. very much. I'm, not, I'm, I'm the only one who has this kind of bigger to hold myself, to do my work first. Whatever. <laughs> So, so what do you want it's to talk about, Aaron? <laughs> if you're not a cream cheese zombie slave yet, you're going to be by Saturday. I can hardly wait to see Daisy just turn. It's going to be great. Um, first of all, nothing but cakes. Let me explain. The reason why we do have the beautiful party cake is nothing but cakes is turning 10. It's the 10th anniversary, and this is pretty cool. We're going to be there on Saturday, this Saturday, April 7th, at Nothing But Cakes. It's 10389 South State Street in Sandy in the Southtown Commons, and it's amazing. We were there for the very first one. We've been there every year because April has been training out these glorious decadent bun cakes forever. Now, the first 50 people in line on grand opening day will get, when they get their purchase, they get a buy, they get a free buntini every month for the rest of, for the full year. And also it's buy one, get one free buntinis, 25% off all the goodies, all the retail she has, all the adorable things. And of course, there'll be tons and tons of cake samples. I'm going to be there from 9 to 11. I'll have tons of treats too. Basically, come in and celebrate with us. I love the fact that it's woman-owned. I love the fact that she's local. I love the fact that there's cream cheese frosting coating everything in that store. 10389 South State Street in Sandy. It's this Saturday. It is nothing but cakes. It is time to tell me something good. This is a pretty good one. Are you ready? Tell me something good. I have enormous, every time I see somebody on an airplane who's quite heavy, yes. and you know they're trying to sit down, and you know that they're extremely uncomfortable, and it's, and I have enormous empathy, because if anyone has ever battled their way, you, I mean, you That's know. That's not the same guy, is it? This is the same guy, Tony Busey. He's lost <coughs> 326 pounds in two years, and he said the transformation were the wildfires that swept through Fort McMurray in 2016. Right. Now, just when everyone that the blaze had diminished and all the other workers were being sent back to the area to assess the damage, um, they were like, okay, and they went, oh, crap, the fires are picking up again. They had to get out of there. They had to evacuate immediately. So he was ushered to the front of the line of passengers because of his weight. And even though he was used to the looks that he used to get for his size, the final straw was he had to take up two airplane seats. And remember, uh, they were trying to jam people on the Somebody plane else's seat. I get it. I get and it. get them get out. It. And so he, he realized... I, I just took somebody's seat, and he says, I'm going to lose weight. And so he said, here's somebody's dad or wife or husband, somebody's family member waiting for their mom or dad to come home, and they ha had to wait longer because I was too big to sit next to. And he My said, I, that had a profound impact. At the time, he was 567 pounds. He wore size 66 pants. My gosh. Immediately after getting back to his hotel, he started ordering healthier meals. He started exercising by five minutes a day. And think about that. At that weight... Five minutes is a freaking eternity. It is, it is. And he built up to 10 minutes. And then he said, two years ago, I could barely walk to my car. I could barely fit into my car. And now? And now he weighs 241 pounds. He joined, joined a gym. He ran a marathon on the third anniversary of his weight loss journey. And he's caught up with traveling all over the world that he had waited so long to do. Interesting motivation. But wasn't that, can you imagine how that would just hit you like a sledgehammer? <coughs> yeah. But just the fact that that was the thing and he had the strength to do it. I have such admiration for him. So that was cool. All right, so um, coming up next, we're going to talk about asthma and kids in Utah and what might be a link. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. But first of all, Fink and McGregor. Now, we've talked about this before, but uh, with Mortgages Made Simple, it really is Fink and McGregor because this is what he does 
all the time. So when you go to Just Out and you go online and you go through all the questionnaires, and you'll find out, number one, that you can get a mortgage with a credit score as low as 600. Number two, you're going to find out there's a zillion different kinds. He was telling I said, give me some of the most random ones ever. And there were ones for like specialized industries or specialized workers. There were extra ones for if it was a first time home buyer or if it's this kind of buyer. But the point is this, he can find you something that really fits you and it can be so much less expensive than if you're getting it from a bank or you're getting it from another mortgage lender because he's got so many. He can do them quickly. They don't have to cost you tens of thousands of dollars. So it's fink-mcgregor.com. Go on and take a look and we will be back next with the whole scary asthma thing. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by UtahCreditApproval.com. Bad things happen to good people, but you can get your credit back on track and get a reliable automobile by giving them a call. 801-404-7201. And also by Columbus Travel with spectacular deals on cruises and all-inclusive vacations. Go to ColumbusVacations.com. And all Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air, where they have a winter special that they can check out your furnace and make sure that it's operating efficiently, saving you hundreds of dollars in energy bills. Just go to AllUtahPlumbing.com. Did you know that you can catch the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, and GetPartDaily.com any time of the day or night? All right, welcome back. I just saw this story. Uh, we plan to talk about it, but I just saw the story highlighted on CNN or something. Mm-hmm. And it's a pretty amazing thing. So uh, 19 years since car collision and left Liz paralyzed from the waist down. Her lo loving husband said, no, nope, not going to happen. Because she went, well, they were really active. They'd go out and do all this And imagine stuff, the right? change in your mobility, what you would be able to do. Right. Yeah, it's huge. And so they basically, uh, he said, you know, there's got to be something. No education in engineering, by the way. Really? None. Oh, so this isn't like a STEM genius and this is all he did. This, exactly. This is a regular guy. Okay. Well, he said, here she is in her situation. She can't go with us anywhere we want to go. And so uh, go ahead and show, show the picture. They made her a tank. Now, when you say a tank, you... That is a... <laughs> look at... Okay, look at the tracks on those wheels. Yeah, yeah, How wide are yeah. those? It's, it, look, it's like a foot foot and 18 inches. Oh, that's hysterical. That, my friends, is a tank to go fishing, to go hiking, to go camping, to do anything he wants and she wants to do. Look how happy she is. I know. Oh, man. And it's like, think about the mobility. And, I mean, they have to harness her in because she, she's evidently hell on wheels uh, <laughs> <laughs> with this. Um, she does. She looks so happy, too. That's so right? sweet. He sold a dozen of these. And it's so funny because during the, the interview I was watching, it was just like, he's like, I don't make any money on these. And, and he goes, but we have some people donating parts and hydraulics and stuff like that, and pulley systems and, and stuff like that. And now that he's hit as so many people because he helps uh, veterans, he helps. So it's a labor of love now. And he, <laughs> and so, yeah, he couldn't be charging wild amounts of money because this said, is, is different for him. And his friends are helping him out. He goes, you'd be surprised what a couple of cases of beer will do. <laughs> <laughs> volunteer wise and he's already got one he's got one that allows her to stand up oh man so really? she can go from a sitting position to a stand-up position which means she can be in the kitchen she can be reaching books off shelves she can do a lot more anything almost she can imagine she can do whether it's standing up because just think of the pressure relief oh, that of would actually be incredible. standing up Oh, yeah, that would be incredible because, once again, no matter how flexible and limber your wheelchair is, you're still set at a certain level. For she, her to be able to rise up and out right. of it is amazing. And she still won't wear a helmet. What? <laughs> I'd feel a steel. I love her. This is how it happened in the first place. I love this girl. She's so funny. That is an incredible story. And I love the fact, though, because if, if anyone who has been shopping for a wheelchair knows, especially the high-tech ones, oh my gosh. they're ten to $20,000. The regular so person much. is not going to, and especially since his wouldn't be covered by insurance, there's, right. the regular person wouldn't be able to afford that, except for the fact that he's trying to make this attainable for everybody. I mean, that's amazing uh, to me. It's so funny. He goes, well, we just kind of tinkered around and came up with it. Um, I've been struggling, as you probably have been telling, uh, by with uh, breathing lately and coughing. And Your allergies are not good. And I don't have asthma. The story's about asthma. But I've recently had that kind of shortness of breath and that kind of freaky panic 
that you can get if you have asthma. And so, well, you can't draw a full breath. I, no. mean, I can't imagine. And the more the more uh, information that comes from research and things like that, and and now they have something new. Well, this is scary. I mean, they've known that allergies and asthma have been on on the rise in children for decades now. Right. And they were beginning to be really concerned here in Utah. I mean, in in my Zoe's class, there's half the kids have some sort of breathing or allergy issue. During Half the, the kids. During the bad air days, they keep everyone inside. Yeah, it's, it's it's not worth risking it. So we know that the bad air here in Utah does pay, play a small part, but what they're finding, they just uh, published this, this in the pediatric uh, medicine periodical, um, the use of acid suppressive medications and antibiotics during infancy um, actually does enhance the subsequent development of allergic diseases, including asthma. Wait a minute, wait, the mom taking it? This is it heartbreaking, or, or? no, the children. For instance, um, 8% of all children uh, they found received a prescription for acid suppressive therapy, which I've never heard of. None of our kids did, but oh my gosh. But they all got antibiotics more than once because of ear yeah. infections and yeah. other problems. Oh and, yeah, There's kids, kids yeah. who have chronic ear infections. So this is, and for the acid suppressants, this is I guess for little ones who have feeding problems, they regurgitate a lot. So unfortunately, those are all elements that you have to treat them with medications. You have. So the, right. the, this is their dilemma now is they're trying to go, okay, are there alternate medications we can do? Is there a way that we can change these medications that doesn't seem to be enhancing this? And part of it is right. they still can't understand the systemic development between the medication and the symptom. How There's, big a study is this? It's huge. Okay, they, but they did this over half of the, Europe and half but of America. They're, they're still bringing it together and stuff. So is, they're trying to figure out now the causative development. So what do we do now that we know this medication right. can go to this? How, how is it happening? And does it affect every kid? But a lot what, of times, what no. they're saying, but what they are saying is, they do now see they've got Some enough kind of thing. Of, uh, proof to show that you take this, your chances of getting this are likely okay. are much higher. So that puts us on a new step. But I guess the first is to question how much you have to have the meds. Can you maybe get them past the ear infection without them? Or I, I don't know. The next story is something we don't have to worry about. Oh, that's good. And that's the beautiful thing because yeah. it says midlife wealth can kill you. We are totally free of that problem. It's actually midlife wealth shock. Now, here's the deal. It's big financial loss. It can shorten your life. What they were finding is middle-aged Americans, who unfortunately, this happens all the time, who experience a sudden large economic blow, were more likely to die within the next five years than those who didn't. <coughs> The heightened danger after a devastating loss, which researchers were calling uh, wealth shock, crossed socioeconomic lines. No matter how much money they had to start with, they were still seeing the problem afterwards. Um, and this is nearly 9,000 people. They were analyzing their experiences because they were trying to figure out why they were seeing this sudden mortality afterwards. And what they found is that it's, it's really a story about everybody. Overall, wealth shock tied to a 50% greater risk of dying. And part of this, they say, is obviously it doesn't affect your health directly, but it's the shock, it's the loss of confidence, it's the massive increased anxiety of what's going to happen to you and your family. Uh, perhaps can you find another job? And that was what started bringing on these chronic diseases and issues that actually caused um, the earlier death. So you were 50% more likely. That's terrifying. Actually, you know, someone's re retired three times. And then they had to back out. Yeah. came back out. Back in. Back retired, and then back in, depending on medical issues and stuff like that. I mean, that's really scary. They say that uh, the average loss was about $100,000, but it was one in four people who had the wealth shock uh, passed away within the next five years. That's not scary at all. So I'm, I'm guessing the key message here is, is that we should all be feeling better about being poor. I, it's, I would rather be poor than dead, so there's that. That was not a all viaducts are dirty. That was a really depressing story, wasn't it? Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. Let's do something more I'm, cheerful. I'm going to tell you. Tell me one of your favorite foods. Um, well, I'm looking at it right now. What is it? Cream cheese frosting. Okay. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Name something else. Say pizza. Pizza. Can't, can't have it. Sorry. Why well, can't I have pizza? In Tampa restaurant, they only serve things that start with C. Cream cheese frosting. I'm okay. Yeah. Most people would shun you because it, you're not putting the cream frosting on things. No, that's not necessary. Just getting a bucket of it. It's more like a direct application. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how this started. It's called the Sea House. And they decided that 
there's a lot of their favorite foods began with C. Sure. Like cheesecake. Obviously. So that's on the menu. Sure. There are some cheaters in here, though. I'm a little disturbed by it. Explain. Well, okay, let's go down the list. Chocolate cake, right? Cereal. Um, chicken. Anything Those are chicken, all C's. Right? What else? Um, corn, anything corn-based, like corn, corn dogs, uh, mm -hmm. corn on the cob. Okay. Cornbread. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Not anything, too bad. Anything Not too bad cheese, because so there's so many different cheese things, right? <coughs> Cheeseburgers. Mm hmm That's good. Cheese and macaroni. This is when it goes all skew. Okay. Canadian fries. Poutine. See, it doesn't work. Well, That's a made-up name. No, you can count Canadian fries. Okay. Cheesy Mac. Made up. Cheating. That's I've heard of Cheesy Mac before. No, I've never heard of it. No, you're just you're just flipping what mac is it, and cheese. Russian? No, it's not. Ma it's pork and beans. No, it's beans and pork. No, it's pork and beans. But that doesn't begin with a C, so you're not eating that either. At first, it seems so so great, but then they're just cheating. Christopher Steakhouse. They serve Christopher's. Starts with steak the C, house. but they also serve things that don't begin with C. For instance, like porterhouse steaks and, and ribeye steaks and fillets, and yeah. uh, they do serve cheesecake and they serve lobster corn dogs, which, by the way, is like the best appetizer I have ever witnessed in my lifetime. Here's the deal: about a year ago, we tried to find the best steakhouse in Utah, like the four-star one, the big one, and it was Christopher's. So we contacted them, saying, "Would you give away dinner?" So people could, you know, hang out with people they love that they haven't seen and enjoy themselves and talk. And they said happy. yes. And so for the last year, that's exactly what we've been doing. Now, it's embarrassingly easy to win this. All you have to do is, if you're watching the show, and I don't care when you're watching, um, just mention it on the Facebook page. If you're on Gephardt Daily or Gephardt Approved, just say, steak or Christopher's or I want to eat or I don't care what. Or if you're on the Todd and Aaron page and you're part of the conversation, hi, I like Jill. Meat. I agree, yes, of course. Heather, yes, of course, you're now entered. And then on Friday, we draw a winner, and you take three friends to Christopher's. There it's you that go. simple. It is that simple. When you come back. Okay, I don't believe in love anymore. There's another split in Hollywood, and it's like, okay, I don't even believe in love now. Why? How could this one have happened? We'll find out next. No, I'm very upset. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night. And right now they have a $69 special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well. Just go to allutahplumbing.com. Welcome back. It is the Todd and Aaron Hollywood Connection brought to you by Connect Heating and Air. Our beloved friends, you can go to utahheatingandcooling.com. Um, maybe it's a good time to get everything checked up for summer. If you want to get all your sprinklers fixed and such, they would be the people to do that. How long have these people been married? Okay, I don't want to believe in love anymore. Okay, they've been married nine years. That's it. But they've it's been together. It's pretty good for Hollywood, right? But they've been together for 15 years, and they're adorable, and they have a little girl named Everly, and what they've happened? always been precious. It's Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan Tatum. I'm, I, I'm so depressed. The last time they were together, apparently, that would be me crying on Twitter because I was really upset about it yesterday. So there was some anxiety and misery. Ugh. This makes me so sad. They did kind of a cheesy statement that was all about love and stuff and that we still what love each other want? but what we're on you? different paths of love and we're still loving our daughter and we love each other right. and our different love paths of love what were you looking for like an ice pick challenge no like a brawl no i was asking with a stick with a big nail in it no i i just was hoping they would stay together because now the big split announcements tend to be more and more like grandiose whereas it's just i want to just hear i'm really sad and depressed it didn't work out but we really like our kid the the angelina jolie thing and brad pitt thing that was devastating that was devastating yeah and then and then there was like chris pratt and like anna F ferris that was incredibly depressing it's like all the cute adorable ones are breaking up and it's like wh why let's think of good ones tom hanks rita wilson they've been married what 40 years 30 kevin bacon and Kira Sedgwick. 
they've been together forever. Remember Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward forever. And the coolest about that when they asked them what their secret was when they were both in their eighties and why mm-hmm. they were still in love, and she goes, "I married him for his body. I still love him for that." And he was sitting there, kind of surprised and proud. It was really cute. The guy from Fargo, William H Macy. <laughs> He's awesome. <coughs> he, yes, his wife was in Desperate Housewives, and I'm struggling to remember her name. <laughs> and evidently. But they did They did an interview, cast interview, with all the women on the show, and they said, who's got the best love life? And they all looked, and they pointed at Felicity Huffman and went, yeah, it's her and William. Right. Yeah, they're crazy. He's a firecracker. Isn't that cute? That's so. So, but yeah, there's but some good news. Jenna and Tatum are... All, all right. right. Let's get some more information. National headlines. Yeah, whatever. Like, I care anymore. All right, uh, going to Daisy, she's brought to you by Stay Fit. This is Stay Fit Wellness Clinic. It's amazing what they can do with a nutritional analysis for you. Also, buy Fink and McGregor Mortgages Made Simple. Just go to fink-mcgregor.com. Within four minutes, you get a whole bunch of options. And buy All Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Good time to check out and make sure everything's working for you. Just go to allutahplumbing.com. Daisy, my dear, what's going on? Thanks, Todd and Aaron. I am super sad about Channing and Jenna as well. So sad. Here's what's making news in the US and around the world on Wednesday, April 4th on GetHeartDaily.com. The woman who fatally shot herself after wounding three others at YouTube's California headquarters hated the company and said it ruined her life, her family said. Three people were shot Tuesday afternoon at YouTube's San Bruno, California facility. A fourth person suffered an ankle injury escaping the gunfire. Police said the shooter died at the scene of a self-inflicted gunshot. Her father said she'd recently told her family she was angry with the company, accusing it of censoring her videos. A U.S. Marine Corps helicopter crashed in Southern California Tuesday afternoon, killing all four crew members. The chopper went down about 3.30 p.m. near El Centro, California, a city of about 44,000 people located 10 miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. The cause of the crash is under investigation. The name of the crew members have yet to be released. And ceremonies observing the 50th anniversary of the assassination of civil rights leader Martin Luther King are being held across the U.S. Wednesday. At the Memphis Motel where Dr. King was shot, a day of performances and speeches was set to take place with civil rights icons Reverend Jesse Jackson, Andrew Young, and Congressman John Lewis scheduled to take part. Bells will toll across the country 39 times to honor the number of years Dr. King lived at 7.01 p.m. local time, marking the moment he was gunned down. And time now for a look at your Wasatch Front weather, brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's renowned audiovisual specialists, and also by Magic Wash, home of the long-lasting ceramic car wash with an outlet in South Ogden and a brand-new state-of-the-art facility on Antelope Drive in Layton. After days of chilly weather, we'll see temperatures in the mid-60s for the next couple of days. Expect to see a few more clouds as we head towards the weekend when another storm system makes its way into the state Friday morning. But until then, it's it's pretty clear sailing apart from an isolated shower or two. That's it for now. For more news across the nation and around the world 24-7, check out GetBackDaily.com. Now I have two bun cakes. Four more weathers coming up. Yay! Todd and Aaron, back to you. All right. Thank you, Daisy. Um, so, um, thank you, Daisy. Well, you know, it's funny. Cause I, I'm a little <laughs> disappointed that she hadn't actually eaten the first one before you came back with the second. It makes me question her. Wait, wait, wait. How are you going to work all this out? You got, you got this going on. I know. Bun cakes, and then you got stay fit. <laughs> See, Stay Fit goes through something different where it's not just a matter of like, hey, let's slap you on a diet or, you know what, you should be exercising more. What they actually do is they have a fairly complicated analysis they do. Um, they take, they have a blood test, then they do individual supplement recommendations. They do dosages that are specific to testing the tests, your age, your sex, your weight. Um, they do a big correlation of drug interaction with patient test finding because a lot of times you may be taking prescriptions that are interacting with each other. And a lot of times a regular doctor may not tell you that. Well, the doctor here does. As a matter of fact, one of the nice things is that they go through a whole battery of different things to make sure that they're getting rid of the stuff in you, like maybe heavy metals or problems like that, that are really inhibiting your ability to heal. And once they do that, and once you're eating in a a good plan and you feel good about what you're doing, then they start working with maybe joint injuries or maybe there's back problems. And the, the doctor who's a chiropractor is spectacular and he can help you overcome a lot of these problems without having to take opioids and having to take tons and tons of prescriptions so 
it's an incredibly healing thing, and it's something that's very simple. All you have to do is call, and then you can get set up for a consultation. If you want to learn more, just go to stayfitwellnessclinic.com. All right. Thank you so much. This is uh, everybody's talking about cybersecurity. Everybody's talking about making sure your stuff is your stuff is collected. We got hacked by um, uh, who was it that? Uh, oh, that was Equifax. Us? Yeah. Equifax, and suddenly we had uh, four new credit cards. Yeah, that was a surprise. Yeah, and so we took care of that problem. And you know, you have to keep an eye on your credit and stuff. And uh, some banks say, oh, well, you know, we'll do this after they screwed you over. Uh, no, we'll give you a credit monitoring. Oh, yay, thanks. You're so generous. Thank you. So what? how do you know if you've been hacked? How do you know that your information is not sitting someplace? Boy, that's scary. In the position, in the possession of someone else. I don't know, but it sounds vaguely horrifying so far. There's someone here to help you out. And it's called haveibeenpounded.com. <laughs> And what you well, do, so far I like them just for the name of this, the website, but go on. Uh, over, they're talking about, uh, along with 153 million others, when Adobe was hacked. Oh, yeah, that was a bad so one. So they decided, you know what, they might as well help people out, haveibeenpounded.com. And so basically you go on to haveibeenpounded.com and you put in your email address. Now that's safe, right? Mm -hmm. Haveibeenpounded.com? Well, it depends if it's a certified site. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the gentleman who wrote the article, he, he uh, had been pounded like like eight times, and he had to go in and change a bunch of stuff. That's and horrifying. Secure yeah. himself, yeah. Uh, I'm going to read more about this before I go onto my computer and punch in the, the search, uh, have I been pounded com. Because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, one of the main problems that they're having, no, this is a certified site, you're safe. And they, the important thing is they also don't ask you a ton of questions. The only thing they ask you is your email address. One of the problems they say that is the easiest thing to break through are people's passwords. People use things like, I love Steve, you know, their husband, or they'll use like their birth date or something like that. And they say, and it's hard because I get it. I use the same password for like five or six different things. That may or may not matter, but the point <coughs> is you really What's are What's the new password, hon? Oh, it's uh, celery guacamole pacala paniac 1972. And it's never that. She, We do change a lot. The, But she, I'll ask her, she'll, ah, did you write it down? Because <laughs> the next morning, do you remember? I don't. I walk into rooms and not know where I, why I went in there. And suddenly I'm supposed to remember, you know, 14, 14 digit code. It's just not going to work for me. You know what I've actually thought I'm going to do? I'm either going to use Irish Gaelic or Norwegian and just do all of her passwords in those. Because that's really going to be confusing. Here's the one I was thinking about. And I'm not sure if this makes it too easy for people to do it. Do the phrase in a song. Oh, that's a good one. There was a farmer had a dog. Really? That's the one you're going to go with? Bingo? Yeah, because I you don't know how you be, I, it'd be awesome. Or you can go Fleetwood Mac. Or you can go, keep going, Justin Timberlake. Or you can go, name it. See, the only problem is that once they catch one of the ones you're doing, then they see this thread, and then they can start using other variations. That's why you switch over to country. You <sighs> see? See what I'm talking? You're talking like, oh, uh, pop music, you know, oh, country. And then you got soul, and you got R and B, and then you get. All right, come in in just a minute. My idea. This is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Heard there was a huge elementary school dance. There were a lot of little kids there that their parents couldn't come and help them. So somebody else stepped forward en masse to make sure that all the kids had someone there for them. We'll tell you who. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night. And right now they have a $69 special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well. Just go to allutahplumbing.com.
<laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I'm on, still giggling over that website. On Facebook, uh, Jennifer wants to know what was the name of the thing to find out if I've been hacked. And Jennifer, it's haveibeenpounded.com. Here's a good story. Uh, school dances. Oh my gosh. Do you remember all those? The drama, the nervousness, the sweaty oh, hands. Oh my gosh. The people against the wall. Oh, yeah, always awkwardly standing against the wall with your little Wall thicket of girlfriends. Wallflowers. That was most of us. And you always had, like, one guy, one friend who was just like, screw it, I'm going over. And you're like, don't do it. Because if they went (laughs) over and they got got denied, it'd be like that walk of shame all the way back to us. And we'd give him a hard time. But he was brave and he went across the I don't think I ever turned anyone down who asked me to dance because if they were brave enough to do it, then... You should totally dance with them. Yeah. Well, a lot of schools and stuff where where uh, parents parents can't uh, can't be there for one reason or another. This is North Carolina, uh, and they had this big dance, and so they had a couple officers in the police department that kind of worked with the school a little bit, mm-hmm. and so they decided, you know what, we're going to do because a lot of parents worked real hard and they couldn't make the dance. And it or, was an important one. It's like, we've done this before, where there's like a daddy-daughter thing with Zozo. Or, right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So they stepped up. They stepped up, oh. and they went as dates. They went as, not dates, they went as dance partners. Yeah, no, it's To these friends, different, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And so oh. they went in, and they filled in for all the parents who couldn't be there, or maybe there wasn't a dad in the picture, uh, and they did that, and the, the woman did it as well. How cool is that? It was that? the daddy-daughter dance and the mother-son dance. That's right. right. And right. so and imagine how you would feel if you were the kid whose parents couldn't be there. Mm. And I love the fact that they jumped in and they're like, no, we'll totally do this. Come on. They had a lot of kids. And shout, it's going to rock. And they had a lot of kids that joined in because they weren't going to go. But then they found out there was going to be a resource available to them. We're going to substitute parents yeah. there for you. So they jumped in. I just in thought that was them. gorgeous. It is really cool. Um, one of the things uh, that I want to talk about is that... Um, Critters. I, I will be working on my computer and Zoe will come over and maybe in one of the corners there's a funny animal video. And I'm screwed at and that And then it point. turns into the funny cat video series, yeah. And then, then it's just like, Dad, and you know, at that point you're just going to give up working and stuff and I'll go make dinner or something. And so you just go, uh, compilations, longest ones you have. Oh, an hour and a half. There you go, Zoe, it's all yours. <laughs> One of the stories, this story came out, it was about a squirrel. It's so freaking adorable. And so squirrels are adorable. They're, they really adorable. are. Our dog hates them, but they're so cute. That's right, because they taunt him. They own him. And they have fluffy tails and clever beady eyes. Look at her. She's holding, why would she be holding a squirrel? Well, Natalie was walking along at uh, Central Michigan University. She saw a squirrel, a clumsy one, fall out of a tree into a pond. Oh, no. And it fought, and it fought, and it fought. They're not natural swimmers. And it fought, and it was just going under. And she said, oh, no, it's going under, and it's cold out. And so another student and her waded in and got the squirrel. Her friend ran to their dorm, came out with towels, and they went, oh, this is not going to work. This is not, that it's lifeless. It's sitting there lifeless. Oh. So... She said, well, wait a minute. We've got to get it warm. Take it up to the stairs. Get the hair dryer going. Keep it warm. Started pumping its little chest. Pumping its little chest just like this. I'm a little squirrel, and I'm getting CPR. And guess where she learned it? From the TV show The Office. They gave CPR to rodents on The Office? No, for a squirrel. Do you remember the episode? That's freaking hysterical. It's because I didn't know what I was doing. She actually did... Blow into its mouth. She's a better woman than I am. And then they got the hair dryer thing was twitching and stuff like that because it was like ice cold. They got the temperature up, temperature up, let the thing sit around for a while. Just imagine just. And how delicate you would have to be in its little chest. See, I would be the one who would try to give it a rescue breath, and then those two sharp front teeth would lash right under my bottom lip and start leading me around the the student green. I'm sorry. Anyway, they took it out and it lived, and it was fine. That is so sweet. She learned it from the office. See? Don't let your mother ever tell you you don't learn anything from From television. From television, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, There's a trait... That, and by the way, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. If you haven't shared the show, do it because it's really annoying to a lot of people you might know. Um, uh, and there's something though. There's two things. One, one is the Christopher giveaway. When we do the Christopher giveaway, and we do this, 
uh, people go and they take pictures and they send them to us. They say, oh, my, my three friends and I had a wonderful time. Look at my filet. It's so tender. I cut it with my that. fork. They hold it up like that. Yeah. And you're like, oh, thanks. That's really nice. But mm-hmm. we're happy they had a good time. And then we have other listeners who like to show how much better traveled they are than us. And so we have a... Two warmer climates. We have a segment of that. But first, we want to say thank you once again for watching. Uh, if you have a suggestion on what we should call this melee, uh, the nooner... Noontime, th- midday. Nooner seems to be in the head ahead. Midday massacre. Ish. I don't know, whatever it no, is. That one's dead. Go ahead and put that in. But uh, so we're going to leave you with the video that gives us anguish and photos uh, about people who are better traveled to us uh, than us and uh, like tropical locations. We'll see you tomorrow. Very happy.